Uh, I visited, he writes, I visited the Creation Museum purely out of a sense of mystified curiosity. The recorded narration in their planetarium claimed that contemporary astrophysics predicted that certain stars were older than the known age of the universe and cited this problem as evidence against science and for young Earth creationism. I think this was a real astrophysical problem for a while, but has since been outmoded by better models of stars. I was hoping Neil might tell me a little bit more about the problem and its solution. Which problem? The problem that a creation museum exists at all? I think the problem that a creation... <laughs> Which problem? Well, it's like a creation museum... I think what it is is it's pointing to some outdated model of understanding science. Yes, okay, so let's, uh, let's unpack all of that. Yeah. So for, actually I have nothing specifically against a creation museum. Sure. Just keep it out of the science classroom. Right, right. We, we live in a free country, people could... Tay, say whatever you want about sure. whatever. That's Just what, like the Batman Museum is not accurate <laughs> that's historically. What it, that's what it means to be fun. free. All right? Just don't confuse it with actual science. Yeah. Um, the, so back, when was it? In the 90s. Mm -hmm. um, there were measurements. Uh, this is before Hubble mm -hmm. settled all these questions. The Hubble telescope, that is. The, we had measurements of the oldest stars. Mm -hmm. And they were coming in you know, 18 billion years old, and measurements of the age of the universe, mm -hmm. that was coming in at about 15 billion years old. Mm -hmm. So uh, that was, it was an unsolved problem in astrophysics. I don't know, it sounds like God exists <laughs> you when you can't, say that. You can't be older than your mother, okay, uh -huh. That's, uh, if you right, want to get right. a, a terrestrial version of that. Each of those are, that was data obtained by completely independent, separate methods. Right. So... Uh, I was quite happy that they were in the same ballpark, right? 15 billion, 18 billion. Yeah. It's a few billion here or there. Uh, cosmically speaking, that difference is small. It's not one that's a thousand times older than the other. Yeah. Then somebody is not get, doing something right, okay? Right. So a few billion years on 15 billion years was, it was something, it was a problem to be solved, but it made much sexier headlines to talk about than what any. Then so scientists were like, this all seems pretty reasonable with more accuracy. Yeah, we'll yeah, that's how we were dealing with it. And yeah, yeah. everyone's like, oh my gosh, uh, how did you do You know, because what they, they weren't considering what we call error bars. Mm -hmm. Error bars are you make a measurement, and what is the uncertainty of that number? The uncertainty in the 15 billion year age of the, of the universe was plus or minus 2 billion years. You see these error right. bars now, these uncertainty numbers in, in election polls, right? Yeah. So they became familiar to people. What is the so margin of error? So now people understand that mm -hmm. it's like, maybe it's 13 billion, maybe it's 17. Maybe it's 17. And now you have the 18 billion year old uh, star yeah. that could be, you know, that was 18 plus or minus two. Yeah. So the overlap in that it's is fine. Yeah, it's, it's fine. We, we, we and so the Creation Museum uses science from the 90s to prove that well, science is wrong. Well, right, to, it's all wrong. And the fact is, in a in a in a young universe, as mm -hmm. what is uh, uh, put forth by. Uh, creation folk, mm -hmm. uh, that is a universe that's not it's 6,000 years, no more than 10,000. It's yeah, in, yeah. The in the thousands, yeah, yeah. not billions. Right, okay? right. So these are, these are apples and oranges going on here. So, by the way, it's possible to have an error bar, an uncertainty range, that is completely out of whack. That would mean there's a systematic error right. in your data. Okay. Like so, the way that they thought they created what fast tachyons or no? Yeah, that was a yeah that was a, a, a felt they found particles in the right. in the Switzerland yeah. that were traveling faster than light, and either it was a blunder or they were actually traveling faster than yeah. light. And we've never ever seen or measured anything travel faster than light, which meant it was probably a blunder. Right. It turned out it was a blunder, just a complete yeah. blunder, and that that happens. So uh, so back then it was a fascinating story. So right now the universe. Is, is about 14 billion years. The ages of stars all match up. Mm -hmm. We have better uh, measurements of what goes on inside of stars. And that all got resolved. Hubble helped out mightily right. in that. So that, that's all that was going on there. So now everything makes perfect sense. All right.